Unfortunately, everybody on YouTube is saying the wrong thing about Candida. I'm gonna go on YouTube and search Candida. This is what I find. This is a medical video right here. The medical doctors are basically totally lost on how to deal with Candida. But also, I had my own mold slash Candida issue back in 2016. And I was watching even this video right here with Dr. Josh X. I'm a fan. I've been to his place in Nashville. Um, I've met some of his manufacturers. And here's Dr. Eric Berg. I've met him before. I consider these people friends. We can go bowling and have a great time. But both these videos are incorrect about Candida. And here is Dr. Sten Eckberg. He's actually reached out to me before. And we went through the same training at this particular training center. And they're all saying the same thing about Candida. And here's another one with Dr. Josh X and Jordan Rubin. And they had teamed up and they made a few supplements. But the point is what they're saying is kill Candida. And there's a variety of natural treatments for that. You could do clove, for example, or oregano. And you can also get into ketosis and avoid sugar and take a probiotic uh, supplement to feed the friendly bacteria in your gut. And all of this is somewhat true, but I've seen so many people with chronic candida and it didn't work. And here's me talking about the same subject. This is six years ago. Better than bleach, kill mold slash yeast in your body in three simple phases. And each of these supplements that I have here are killers. So gut flora is actually very strong oregano. Fungi GX, a multi-herbal that kills candida. ADP is oregano. Spanish black radish is a cleaner. The antifungal diet. Remove the source means, you know, get rid of the sugar out of your diet, including white bread and white um, flour products. But what everybody is missing, including myself back then, is that underlying this candida issue is toxicity. And toxins kill tissues and cells. That dead tissue then is food for candida. So you can kill candida, but it'll come back. It's just like living in a bad neighborhood with lots of garbage all over the streets. There will always be mice. You can kill the mice, you can kill the rats, but as long as there's garbage there, the rodents will always come back. So same thing with candida. So I've just have seen so many people, they watch me on YouTube, they watch Dr. Berg, they watch uh, Dr. Eckberg and Dr. Josh X, and they've been through all the supplements and they've taken the recommendations that I've given and the other doctors have given, but they always need them all the time. Once they stop them, the candida comes back. And the truth is you got to detox the chemicals and metals. My favorite supplement for detoxing is Biotoxin Binder right here from Cellcore. And there's a lot of biochemistry as to why that one is my favorite. And also Carboxy. Now there are other supplement companies that have similar detox products, but they're just not good enough. And I've sold them. And there's also alpha lipoic acid and acetylcysteine and a variety of other detoxifying agents that help the cells work better but these binders work better than that. These binders actually go into the body and they clean the mycotoxins out. Mycotoxins are the chemical poisons that mold makes and those mycotoxins kill your tissue and then the spores from the mold grows on dead tissue. So you gotta get rid of those mycotoxins with this initially, the biotoxin binder. So when I had my own mold issue in 2016 and 2017, I had already been doing the killers for years with patients. And it just so happened that I had found the mold in my office in October of 2016. And in January of 2017, that's when this product came out. So I quickly went on this and I had some detox reactions. I knew it was working the very next day. I could feel it working. So I've been thrilled with the results and I still get patients coming in. They've been through all the supplements. They've watched all the videos on YouTube and they still have chronic candida. And it could be located in different parts of the body. Could be at the bottom of the feet, groin, tongue, white coating on the tongue, skin rash. And so then it's like, okay, you have to start start detoxing and also get rid of parasites. Parasites will hold on to mold, candida, yeast, fungus inside the parasite or on top of the parasite. That's in the medical literature. So here's a seven-step blueprint to optimal health. And really getting rid of the mycotoxin slash mold candida is all seven steps. And so diet is step one. Making sure you're not eating sugar, white flour, you're eating a ketogenic diet. For most people, that helps. Not always. And then step two is increasing energy. Step three is drainage. That makes sure that your colon is working well, your liver, goblet are working well. Because when you're starting to kill off candida and detoxify all the garbage that mold makes, the liver, kidneys, colon have to be working well. Steps four and five are parasites. Remember, parasites hold on to mold candida. 
And then step six, there's detoxification. That's where you're getting rid of the mycotoxins. Step seven is getting rid of the organisms that are inside cells. Can candida be inside the cells? Absolutely. And various mold and mycotoxins can be in the cells. So that's step seven. So getting rid of candida is all this. It's all of it. And then the last step is O for optimization. That means you're feeding organs specifically what they need. If your liver needs some extra support, you can take liver products. And you can do that at the, after you're done with step seven, or you could do it at, at any point along this chart. So feeding organs to help get rid of symptoms can occur anywhere in these seven steps. So there's an evolution in our thinking and how to deal with chronic yeast. And it has to do with these seven steps. And just going back five, six, seven years, I can look back and say, I was wrong and everybody else was also wrong. And yeah, you can like just start killing candida and maybe it works for you. Maybe oregano is all you need. You know, you do like three weeks of it, for example, and then you should be done and it should never come back. And if it comes back, that means there's more that you're missing, whether it's your diet, reviving tissue, detoxifying, getting rid of, getting rid of parasites, cleaning your gut. There's all these other things that you can do with supplements to get your body healthy. And that's how you deal with any problem, bacteria, virus, candida, parasite. Get your body healthy, your immune system gets stronger, and then the problem goes away forever permanently, as long as you don't have a bad diet and a future unlucky exposure. So you can have a totally clean body with no parasites because you pooped them out for a year, and then now you're done, you're totally clean, then you go swimming in a lake and you get another unlucky exposure of parasites. So this is a constant battle. It's a battle between you and Mother Nature. Now, you may have grown up thinking that you're supposed to be one with Mother Nature and Mother Nature is your friend. Not true. <laughs> it's not true because Mother Nature wants to take you down just like they want to take down your house, you know, the building, the, the, the rust on your car. That's Mother Nature attacking things that we've made. We've made these bodies. We've made these homes. We've made the cars. And Mother Nature wants to break all that down and return it to the soil. So Mother Nature is not your friend. And just because something is natural doesn't mean that it's good for you. So when you have a candida overgrowth in your body, it means that your body is not healthy. And it means that you have some work to do to detoxify your body of bad things. You have some work to do. And it has to do with the terrain of your body. You have to fix the terrain. If you want some help with this, we can help you out at my office. You can become a patient, contact the office, and they have some free ebooks and some courses that are also free. I also have some other courses that are not free, but you can get them on my website and dive in, get a lot of great information to help your body out. And this concept of silver bullet that was developed in the mid 1800s and really pushed after 1860 by a guy named Dr. Ehrlich, he accidentally found that a dye that he was using to stain bacteria, killed some bacteria. And so he's had this idea of like, okay, you have a, a chemical that kills bacteria that'll fix our health. And that's been pushed so much on our culture that there is a magic bullet that you just take this one pill and then you're done. Boom, the doctor's a hero. You're so much better. Everything's gonna be great. It doesn't work that way. It's more about reviving your body's tissue and this plan right here is I created this based on studying a lot of different fields in the holistic healthcare field. And I made this about four years ago and I keep learning from it. I keep learning through my patients' experiences how great this is. So when you want to improve your health, consider this. Go to my website, scroll down a little bit. You can right click and you can just download this image.